boys and girls. Today's chalk and sock lesson is going to be on the letter W. And if I have some parents that are listening in, it might be a little bit different, some of the things that I'm going to be saying. So the letter W is actually a continuous sound. Um, many people like to say wa when they're doing the letter W as far as the sound. Um, but I have learned and been taught that we would do more of a sound, which is kind of what I was referring to by the kind of different things. So to form the letter W, we're going to start here, we're going to come down, up, down, up. Hmm, I hope that's not too challenging. Let's try that together. We're going to say the sound of as we are forming that letter. Here we go. And again. One more time. All right, so the letter W, a continuous sound, trying not to say wa. All right, let's erase our boards. And, of course, let's set up for the listening game. So we're gonna divide our board down, boom. Divide our board this way, boom. We're focusing on the letter W. And let's number our quadrants. Quadrant one, two, three, and four. Let's put on those beginning and end lines. Beginning, end, beginning, end, beginning, end. Try not to sing that this time. Beginning, end. I think I have a kind of a habit of singing those. <laughs> Okay, so here are my words, and you're going to decide if you hear the sound ooh at the beginning of the word or at the end. I'm not going to really hold it though. So the first word is worm. Where did you hear that sound? The next word is wedding. Number three, wagon. Number four, wood. Let's take them up. The first word was worm. Here we go. Beginning. The second word was wedding. Wedding. Beginning. The third word was wagon. Beginning. And the fourth word was wood. Beginning. All beginnings today. I think that's the first time that that's happened. All right, let's erase our boards. And we're going to get ready to spell some whole words. So I am going to number my board. One, two, three. Four. Reminder of the vowel card, and we've been focusing on the A for A, uh, apple, and the O for aw, uh, octopus. And I have my little models. So it looks like for the first word, there's going to be three letters, and my vowel is going to be in the middle. I'm going to say the word once or twice, and you at home, you're going to say the word and you're going to stretch out those sounds so that you can hear each sound. Number one, this is something that a dog does with its tail, and it is the word wag, wag. I kind of stretched it out a bit for you, but I want you to do it for yourself as well. The remaining three words 
are not going to be focusing on the letter W today, and I know that that's what the letter is, but um, the words that we're going to look at are going to be reviewing what we've learned already. So the second word has the same structure. The vowel is going to be in the, in the middle again, and the word is rot. Something that sometimes my bananas will do. Stretch out those sounds. And while you're doing that, I'm going to add a letter on. Number three. Look at my vowels way over here. And this time, it's a little bit tricky because I'm going to have two stop sounds in my word. There's going to be a stop sound for the second letter and a stop sound for the last letter. This is the word spot. Spot. Sometimes, sometimes people call their dogs spot. Stretch that out when you can. Listen to the sounds that you hear. And for the last word, I'm gonna whoop, I'm gonna flip my model around. And this is something that people have maybe way upstairs in their house, and it's called a loft. Four sounds. Loft. You stretch those out. I could do that really slowly if I wanted to. All right, let's take those up. The first word was wag. Wag. Stop sound on the end. The second word was rot. Rot. The third word was spot. Sp. There's a quick sound. Uh, and the fourth and final word was the word loft. 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 And that was our W lesson for chalk and sock. Have a great day. See you soon.